My friends, we have gathered here today in front of the Israeli consulate in New York City. To express our pain and our solidarity with our brothers suffering under the Israeli government. Religious Jews have lived in the Holy Land for hundreds of years peacefully. They came there to study Torah, pray and absorb its sanctified atmosphere. They came there to live peacefully alongside the residents of the land. Unfortunately, the Zionist movement came later. With a different purpose, they came to create a state in violation of the Torah. From the beginning of the Zionist concept, it was vehemently denounced by all the rabbinic authorities as it is opposed to Judaism. Very, very soon as they came, they instigated conflict along the local non-Jewish population and alongside with all the neighboring countries. When the State of Israel was founded in 1948, its leaders understood that they could not force the old religious community to participate in their army and their wars. After all, these people desired only to live in peace as they had previously as their parents did before them. Decades went by, the Orthodox community grew, and when the Israeli leadership changed its tone, they could not stand to see a large community of old-fashioned Jews in their midst. Jews who keep the ideals of real Judaism living quietly and peacefully, following the Torah, taking no interest in their political power. They wanted the religious community to join them and abandon their religion. And what better way to change the religious community than to drive the young ones into their army and indoctrinate them. refuses to participate in the immoral Israeli army. We will not abandon our total values. We will not change our beliefs. And according to the Torah, the Jews are forbidden to create a state of their own or to shed blood or to fight any war. We will never serve in the military of the state that we do not recognize. Let no one be fooled. The Israeli army does not need these young boys. The Israeli army recently turned away thousands of qualified recruits. No, they don't need the Orthodox. Their only goal is to force them to abandon their beliefs. Their only goal is spiritual genocide. Almost no country in the world draft their citizens in peacetime. And even they grant exemptions in reasonable circumstances, certainly for religious convictions. Only the Israeli police break into someone's home in the middle of the night. Drag them out and throw them in jail for a year and a half. For what? Just because they don't want to be influenced by their irreligious, immoral environment of the Israeli army. Only the shameful Israeli government does that. Hey! 
as we speak. Over a dozen Orthodox young men are currently sitting in Israeli prisons because of their refusal to enlist in the army. So we are here to say to the Israeli government, stop the brutality, stop the cruelty. Orthodox Jews in the Holy Land have the right to refuse to take part in your actions. Let our community live in peace. And to those young heroes, those boys who ignore their own needs and their own suffering, and stand up for what's right, and are willing to sit in jail, rather to serve in the immoral Israeli army. Our message here today for them is, we are proud of you. We are with you. Continue to be strong, because at the end, the Torah will prevail. Truth will prevail. Authentic Torah, true Jews will prevail. Well, Hashem, I see you. Thank you very much.